I don't know about you grains, but when I see samples and free things, my itty bitty little heart just runs towards it, and I'm like, I need not one, not two, but give me five of them. I need it! So if you like free things, this is the perfect video for you, because today we're going to be looking at nine free items that we got from Wish.com. This video is not sponsored, not affiliated. For those of you who don't know, Wish is a website that most of the items are products that you get from China. So they're not necessarily the best quality products. So when I saw them for free, I, I couldn't help it. Are you blinking? <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> I've been making sure I'm like... Okay, I bl I blunk. I blunk. <laughs> wow, English number one is starting pretty good today. I blunked it too blunt. And so most of the items that I picked up today are either artsy or craftsy in some way. Let's take a look. The first product we're going to be looking at is a five-piece, multi-style, colorful gel pen, starry cartoon, anime flower roller, ball pen, stationary fountain pen roller products. Wow. <coughs> that was a very long title. Oh, I lost my breath on that. <laughs> By the way, for those of you who don't know, this is Sika. My sister, she's a little shy. That's not true. She is not shy. <laughs> she is. If you think Angel is bad to me, So this item caught my attention because we're allowed to get so many different styles, but of course you get a set. So I gravitated towards cute and colorful and pastel-y, even though I am dark in my soul and my heart. That's not true. I'm a very nice person. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm a little bit more dark than you are, so. She scares me. <laughs> I scare a lot of people. <laughs> So on this listing, as you can see, it is written free. And I went for style number six, which had a lot of cute little animals, cute little birdies, cute little kitty cats, and, and overall just absolutely cute designs. By looking at the listing, unfortunately, for some reason, the designs look like they're just taped paper right on top, but I guess we'll find out. I have not looked at it yet, but we open it and, ooh. All right, so here are the designs we got. Right off the bat, surprisingly, they are very similar to the, to the ones... Wow. Speaking is hard. The English isn't working today. The English is the, the broken it. It's broken it today. It's broken it English. Come back tomorrow. See you next time. The designs are very similar to the ones in the posting, and... But here's the thing. Listen to this. Sounds like plastic. Sounds very plasticky, very hollow, and the quality right away you can tell is dollar store at best. And I feel like paying shipping $4 for this is already kind of scammy. But what we need to do is test them out. All right, remember how I said that on the posting itself, it seems like the designs are just taped on? Well, Sika made an observation. So you can tell right here that it looks taped on. It's not even put on straight. So you can actually see the seam of the pattern right here and it looks taped on. Yeah, so this is probably something that we can rip off, is my guess. <laughs> Interestingly enough, it's actually pretty durable. Oh, that sound. Oh, I just got goosebumps. So even though it does look like it's taped on, it doesn't want to come off easily. So whatever That's good. Yeah, that is definitely a plus. Yeah. Let's test it out on paper. And so even though the posting did mention colorful gel pens, I didn't believe it. I thought it was colorful on the outside. But if you look at the caps, it does have purple, dark blue, blue, blue happy, blue happy day, pink, pink happy, happy day. day, light blue happy day. I think that's just the brand. I think so. Because I'm not feeling happy day right now. <laughs> well, maybe. I haven't tried it yet. We'll see. I'm gonna do light blue. <laughs> I actually hurt a little bit. So how does it feel? Um, it feels like it's scraping the paper. Oh, can you hear it? And if you leave your pen on it too long, it kind of bleeds. Yeah, but the ink color is actually really pretty. Yeah, the color is really nice. Maybe it's because I'm left-handed. All right, let's try it with the righty. <laughs> I'm gonna go with the dark blue. No, it is pretty scratchy. Yeah. Did you like my save? I almost wrote salt, but... Yeah, you messed up. I messed up. up. I, messed I was up. like, oh, she's gonna write salt. Oh, never mind. Saturday. I forgot my O. The ink itself is pretty juicy. It's really nice. It's like if it's the tip of the marker that's not working as well. Yeah. It's too pointed, I guess. All right, let's test the other colors. This is normal blue. Oh. Ooh. There, there we go. go. <laughs> <laughs> purple. Oh, that's a nice purple. That is a really nice it's purple. It's a really nice purple. And then we have the pink. Oh. Oh, it's a nice color. It's like a almost magen magenta ish. This one's a little bit less scratchy. No, it sounds pretty scratchy. Yeah, maybe I'm, get I'm just getting used to it then. 
So for a free item, I would definitely say that even though it is a little scratchy, it would be worth the non-cash. $4 shipping. $4 shipping. So for $4, if you can find this at the dollar store, go for it. Worth it. But if you're living in a remote area that doesn't have a dollar store, which I'm sorry for those of you who don't have a dollar store. That exists. It actually exists. People that don't have dollar stores. I think France doesn't have dollar stores. I could be wrong. My French grains, you let me know. The next item on our list, take it away, Sika, because I don't know if my lungs can do any of it. <coughs> oh yeah, no, hold on, hold on. Okay, let's try this. So our next item is a Masquerade Face Decoration Party Queen 3D Crystal Face Eye DIY Temporary Rhinestone Face Gem Jewelry Face Sticker. Wow. Woo, okay. They really do want to cram <laughs> all the keywords in there. It really is very much so like a YouTube video. <laughs> Put all your keywords in there, kids. I'm guilty of that. I'm very guilty of that. And this caught my attention because it just looks absolutely gorgeous. It's beautiful. I've always loved rhinestone -y things that you could just like... <laughs> stick on people's faces because I, I like stickers on my face. And I seem to have gravitated towards the design called 4A. And as you can see, it is free. It does have 113 reviews and it's very close to a 5-star review. So I'm expecting that this is actually going to stick on Sika's head. Oh, okay, I'm your model. <laughs> I'm wearing a hat. <laughs> I see how it is. <laughs> Let's do the sticking. So upon closer inspection, the crystals are definitely super plasticky. They're not very good quality and they kind of look scratched and a little matte. The only thing that saves them is the actual glowiness of the crystals. Does that have a word? Well, they're very shiny, right? They're Yeah, they're shiny. <laughs> they're shiny bright like a diamond. <laughs> shine bright. No, 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 don't sing. We I, just shine bright. No. I just said shine bright. No, <laughs> the copyright strike rules on YouTube are very strong. Someone actually hummed a song and they got copyright strike. Wow. Yo. Thanks for nothing, Sony. So as you can see, it's very scratchy, but let's see what it looks like from far. Okay, so let's see how it comes off. Does it come off as one piece? I hope so. Yes. Okay, good. All right, so we're debating. Are these supposed to be stick-on earrings or are these supposed to be teardrops? She thinks teardrops. I think they're supposed to be earrings. So let us know in the comment section below, which do you think this is? But without further delay, let's eh, uh, uh, Oh no, oh. what are you doing? Okay, ready? Who doesn't tear your hair off? I was right about to say that. I'm like, I hope I, my skin doesn't react to it. It feels weird. You look cute. Let's get your teardrops. <laughs> there, I guess. Here? I guess. I feel like I can't move my forehead. <laughs> How would you move your forehead? Well, if I move my eyebrows, it moves my forehead. And it feels super weird. <laughs> you look so cute. All right, you ready to see yourself? Mm-hmm. And flipping the screen. Oh my god, you look so weird. You look so cute. You're so cute. Okay, so, bad. so right off the bat, I can see even though I pushed this in, so we can see that over here, the crystal doesn't want to stay at an angle, so it's kind of sticking out. So you'll have pieces that are just going to stab you. And this one also is sticking out, so I feel like it might be a problem long term if you want something to last all day long. When I move my eyebrows, it, <laughs> <laughs> it feels really weird underneath, but it does feel like it's staying on, so I think that's why it's just the glue on it, pretty much, that's uh, holding on nicely. I guess we'll find out how long it lasts because you're keeping it all video. Uh. All right, so. So our next item, number three, is a cute stationary push key correction tape creative DIY <laughs> animal letter writing tapes that go school student access. <laughs> oh, I said it with one breath. Interestingly enough, it has over 2,000 reviews, again, at close to five stars. So four and a half stars for this little thing. And the idea pretty much behind this is that it's just a cute little deco tape that you use like a correction tape, but it's more for decoration, probably for packages. It looks so cute from the images. And you have every kind of design from cute little owls, kitty cats, monsters, and I gravitate towards the scary stuff, so I took the crocodile design. I mean, it's free. 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 So we added that to our cart, and what we got is... Crocodiles. Crocodiles. Yeah, we did she... get it. Yeah. That is super cute, and even the packaging is absolutely adorable. I have seen these things, though, at the dollar store, so I don't know how they would be worth more than free, which is the $4 shipping. You have to always keep that in mind. All right, let's, let's open it up. You're taking forever. <laughs> the design itself is pretty cute. I like the fact that there's a little crocodile right on the outside, but at the same time, I, I, I've seen these at the dollar store, but the mechanism looks really cute. The quality itself seems really good. And not only that, but look at this. 
it pushes in and out so that the design doesn't get any kind of friction in your pencil case. That's pretty smart. Yeah. Very useful. Now the next question is, does it work? All right, here we go. Push down and roll. Oh, wow. It actually works. That is adorable. Let's do it again. Wow. You want to try? Yeah. I'm going to go backwards. Oh no, don't go backwards. <laughs> so, once you, once, no, don't go backwards. Yeah, but I don't have a choice. I'm left-handed. So if you're left-handed, it's not as great. It's going to be upside down. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Poor lefties. <laughs> Looks like this product's not for you. So if you're left-handed, it's probably not going to go up straightwards, obviously. It goes backwards. But it's still a nice product, so you just need to flip your paper. <laughs> And it looks cute still, so. That is adorable. Yeah. So I think our verdict is pretty straightforward for free. If you don't have access to a dollar store or something like this, definitely worth it. Definitely worth your cash. Yeah. Our fourth item is going to be, you ready for it? Yeah, I'm ready. Inhale, exhale, expand your lungs. Inhale. <laughs> All right, go for it, Sika. So it's a stainless steel cross stitch scissors, European retro classic vintage antique craft gold sewing crane, tailored scissors, handcraft DIY at home. Cool. Wow, you did it! <laughs> so when it comes to this free scissor item, it really caught my attention because it's really cute and I love burps. It's really, really pretty. The only thing I didn't like about the gold ones is that there was a kind of separation between the gold part and the metallic part. So I opted to go for the silver one because why not? We'll add that free item to cart. And the answer is... Ooh. Silver. It's way smaller. Hang on. Way smaller than I expected. It's really tiny. Really? That's what I expected from the picture. Really? Let's take a look at the picture again. Like you can see in his hands oh. how tiny it is. I think the angle made it look bigger. Or they might have small hands. Because I got sausage fingers! <sighs> Upon first inspection, it is pretty heavy for its size. Oh, it's not that bad. <laughs> So it's a lot smaller than I expected. I don't think my North American hands would appreciate. Oh, ooh. can your thumbs get it? No, that's oh. as, that's as far as my thumb goes in. But that's what it looks like on the picture too. So it looks normal. It's the angle. Look at the picture again. They make it seem so that the angle doesn't. They're left-handed too, eh? Which means that you should be able to use it. Yeah. <laughs> Bless you. My leg got a shower though. That's gross. Oh! I need to change pants. <laughs> Sorry, my stomach was like growling again. Some of you grains think I don't feed her. I swear I fed her this time before the video. So if her tummy growls, that's not on me. Okay, I feed her. I know the hashtag feed Sika yeah. was going around. I, saw I that. fed her, I promise. Thank you grains for uh, supporting me. All right, let's see. First cut. Oh, cuts well. And for a lefty? Yeah, it cuts actually really well, to be honest. And you can really go from the back of the scissor all the way to the tip, and it really cuts in every way. All right, my turn. That's how tiny they are. All right, so, all right. So. All right, so. <laughs> These are nothing. <coughs> oh, the salt. The salt is for me. No. <laughs> all right, first impression, first cut. Oh, yeah, they're smooth. They're pretty smooth. Yeah, they're, they're really sharp. Yeah, they're very sharp. They're actually really good quality, to be honest. I feel like you can do precision cutting with yes. this too. So because the tip is very narrow, it makes it so that we can cut a lot more tiny details with the tip. Definitely for free, I would say worth your shipping cash. Yeah, definitely. I'm gonna wave a sharp pointy thing at you. I have a new sharp pointy thing. These ones are more stylish. The next free item is new 45 piece pack cute cat decorative sticker stickers DIY decoration diary stickers school stationery. That was quite the... And we got Burr, right? Right? He's no. not... <laughs> oh, there yeah, you go. Okay, got a slight <laughs> agreement. Because uh, of the Burr scissors, it made me miss you. Did you know that? He's still pretty rude. Some of you asked if Sika was the Burr, but they're not the same. So we figured we'd get them both on camera. <laughs> and so these stickers, I got them because, first of all, they're stickers. Sika, you're getting distracted. Sorry, Burr. <laughs> I know he's cute. They're cute. They're cats and they're stickers. And they do again have over 2,000 reviews at four and a half stars. <laughs> why? Why do you hit me and not seek? I think he's hiding behind you. That is so. <laughs> that is so not fair. You good? You want pets? Really? I get all the smacks and he gets. He gives you the pets. You know how unfair that is. Hi. That's so unfair. I only get the smacks. Are we best friends? Yeah. And so here are the free stickers. Oh, he hit me. <laughs> he hit my clavicle. Welcome to the club. He's never done that before. 
Hang on. <laughs> oh, he's smacking the chair. Oh, he's chaos. That's what he is. So the stickers are actually much smaller. <laughs> he's fucking with my back. So off camera, Angel's been hitting and running Sika this whole time. It's quite intimidating. You okay, You're usually not like this with me. What, what, what is this? It's the salt is rising within him. Mm. He is the bird of destruction, right? The box itself is pretty cute, and we do in the back see that we get eight different designs. That's really cool. Aw. Really, Jackie? Oh. Be careful, don't take them all out. So we get 15 different designs and about three of each, which gives us 45 stickers. Everything from a kitty holding a letter, a kitty with a cake, scratching a post, they are so cute. As a free sticker, even if it were $4, I would happily pay for stickers like these ones. But you're a sticker junkie. We don't talk about that here. Nobody knows how many stickers I have. I do. Did you just hit me? I didn't see it. I saw nothing. Let's replay that. Totally did. So for me, definitely worth the cash. Yeah, they're <laughs> you're so distracted by the bird. It's hard. Um, I think they're really worth it too. They're very nice stickers as well, and they're they're. Oh my God, he's attacking me in the back. And they're slightly glossy as well, so they're not overly shiny, which is nice because when they're too shiny, you get too much of a glare, I guess, depending on what you put it on. So they're they're nice stickers, and they're cats too. So it's a plus for me because I'm a, a huge cat person. And if ever you're wondering, yes, they would work in resin pieces. So that's a that's a that's a blowness. That's a blowness. That's a blowness. <laughs> Bonus points! <laughs> do you want pets? What are you doing? But look, the camera's on and suddenly he's being nice. He was grabbing oh. my hair! <laughs> Angel, be nice! Next is going to be a three-piece pilot ink pen for water brush watercolor calligraphy. Cali calligraphy? Calligraphy? Calligraphy! <laughs> Painting tool set new. So in essence, this is a watercolor brush where you put water on the inside. And as we can see from the ad, they look really nice. They seem pretty sturdy, but what we're supposed to be getting are three different sizes. That's the one that they were offering for free. You're stealing my show, Bert. It's my show. I'm the salt. He's ignoring me. Yep. Hi. <laughs> and upon first impression, these are way smaller than I expected them to be. Ah, Jackie! <laughs> <laughs> What's he doing? He pulled my necklace? Oh no! Okay. Angel, stop it! <laughs> Just letting you grains know, we had to put Angel on a little timeout because he was a little too <laughs> excited with Sika's uh, accessories. So as I was saying, my first impression on these brushes is that they are smaller than I expected them to be, but also what Sika noticed is that there's humidity in one of the caps. Well, actually two of them. Two out of oh. the three have humidity in them, so I'm wondering why they would be humid. <laughs> That's my worry. And the worst thing is I've had these in my packages for... They've been sitting for about a month, which means they've been used. They don't look used. Does it smell used? <laughs> How did I know you were going to smell it? <laughs> so if you look at the chamber here as well, we still see water drops. Yeah, I don't like it when I buy things and they've been used. That is not okay for me. You technically didn't buy it. I don't like free items that have been used. <laughs> All right, so let's test these out. All right, so I took out my gold pigments for those of you who are not aware of what brand this is. It is the Gansai Tambi Golds. Different, 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 different golds. So we're going to go ahead and give it a try. The idea behind these brushes is we should be able to squeeze the chamber. I put a little bit of water and there you go. So we get a droplet of water, which should help us activate the watercolor. And don't squeeze. Are, are you squeezing it on me? <laughs> Are you done? Yes. You're just a liar like Angel! You say yes, but you lied to me! Alright, so as you can see, we have this gorgeous gold, and we should be able to put it down. And of course, if you want it to be more watery, you should be able to squeeze it a little more, but I feel like the water has a hard time stopping. I'm gonna keep trying this without squeezing it at all. Alright, so this time I used the paint, but I did not squeeze the water one bit since that initial one drop. And... It's definitely a lot better, much nicer. But there's a lot less control from what I can tell with these brushes because it's just leaking non-stop. If you don't re-wet the brush, then it, it spreads out nicely, but then there's not a very good control with the tip, so that's one thing that I don't like about this brush. So even though these items were on all technicality, you, you really went ahead of yourself right there. <laughs> I was sure you were gonna say free right away. You ready for it? Yeah. 
free items. I had a hard time controlling it. She had a hard time controlling it. It's definitely not user friendly, to be honest. Not worth the money. Definitely Before goes free. In the trash! One of the weirdest items that was for free is a one-piece Christmas gift box metal cutting dies for scrapbooking, embossing, border stencils, DIY, decorative card making. Wow. I did it. <laughs> Are you proud of me? Yes, I'm proud of you. So this item, if we look at the posting, it caught my attention because it seems like we're able to make miniature boxes out of just a stencil. I have no idea how to use something like this. My guess is we might need to press it down on paper. So we're both going to be trying to make a miniature box. And so... Oh, that is not what I expected. That, that is, is so small. It's way tinier. Okay. I'm a little disappointed at this. I'm more than a little disappointed. All right, so let's give it a try. And just to be clear, this came with no instructions, so I have no idea how to use it. And it has 237 reviews with about three and a half stars. So it seems like it's probably more of a miss than a hit for some people. Why are you laughing at it? Because I don't think we know what we're doing with this. To be honest, I'm quite disappointed that we don't get any instructions whatsoever. I don't even know what this thing is called. We tried to look online to see how this works. You grains are usually smarter than the both of us combined. So let me know what is this thing called? And how to use it because we have absolutely no idea how to use it. So we're just gonna wing it and hope it works. Yeah, I think what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put it under a piece of paper. All right, so let's... Our guess is just to transfer the shape. The, yeah, the shape of it. I feel like it's not precise enough. Oh, I think you're tearing a bit of it too. It was at this moment that he knew. Okay, that should be enough. And what do we get? Uh, oh, we ripped it a little bit. It feels like extra work for something that probably has an easier way to do a tiny box. Yeah, I agree with you. It's, it's a lot of hassle for a very small item. So for a free item, this for me goes straight in the trash. It was really not worth it. It's not a good item. And then we have premium white gel pen set 0.8 millimeters line, fine tip sketching pens for artists, black papers, drawing design, illustration, art supplies. You didn't do it in one breath. No, I could <laughs> not. <laughs> So these pens look absolutely gorgeous, but the issue with them is they seem to only show them on black paper. But yes. we're going to test them on both dark and light. They seem to have put quite a bit of artwork on there, but this is Wish. I'm pretty sure most of the artwork that they're displaying on there is stolen. So if you see your artwork on Wish, make sure that you ask them to take it down if they don't have your permission. One gold and one silver, which as you can see, is for free. The first impression, the outside is extremely cheap. It, it feels really cheap, the plastic, it's really light. It's definitely something that you can find at the dollar store, if not as a bundle for a dollar. So let's test it out on gold. And it is, you're saying, hmm, but I think it's pretty underwhelming. Well, I'm actually surprised it's just showing up because I was afraid that the color wouldn't show up at all. So at least there's some color, but it's more yellow than gold in my opinion. So. And it's quite a dull gold. Yeah, Compared it's not again, shiny. Right, let's look at their website again. So if you see on their posting, the gold is absolutely vibrant. Very similar to the watercolors that I used just previously. Mm. This one is desaturated. Yeah, it kind of looks like a yellow mustard and that's about it. That's where it ends. All right, now for the silver. Kind of just looks gray to me. So these are kind of disappointing in my opinion on the black paper. I'm curious to see what it looks like on white paper and maybe we can even try it on something else. Like they tried it on a rock. Maybe it'll work on a rock. I don't, I don't know. have any more rocks. Don't put me on the spot. <laughs> Never mind the rocks then. Again, both of these colors, as you can see, are extremely desaturated. Yeah. It's absolutely terrible compared to what we can see on their website. Yeah, it looks a lot nicer on the website, to be honest. Same issue as before. It's desaturated. It has like this green tint to it. It's just not a, not a pretty color. And again, it just looks gray. So it's really not a nice product in my opinion. Totally not worth the $4 shipping. Yeah, $4 for two gel pens that are supposed to stand out and be gorgeous. Our opinion? In the trash. All right, before we move on to the next item, we still haven't given you a review on what Sika is wearing because I wanted her to wear it for just a little longer before she can give her opinion. And so there, it's a pretty interesting sticker. I stopped feeling it after about 10 minutes. Uh, so my skin doesn't feel as, as stuck in place. Uh, the only thing I, I'm a little afraid of is when I'm gonna remove it, if it's gonna uh, leave a mark on my forehead. <laughs> So that's if that goes out well, then I'd be, be giving it a, a good rating, especially that it's it's a free product. It sticks very nicely so far. My question now is, does it stick too much? <laughs> Let's find out. All right, now is the moment of truth, Sika. You can start removing those pieces. So it has a nice stick to it. <laughs> does it hurt? No, not the small pieces so far. <laughs> All right, you guys ready for this? Let's see what you got for us. 
Oh, okay, so that doesn't hurt as much as I thought it would. Oh, the skin, it feels so nice, it's breathing now. So it actually sticks really nicely, and uh, I would give it a good rating, but it's, it's worth the freebie. If you want to re-stick it, they say to clean it with rubbing alcohol in the back, and then just use non-toxic glue to just reuse it. The next thing that caught my attention, because you grains know me well, is a 16-piece blade mobile phone laptop PCB non-slip metal scalpel knife tools kit cutter engraving craft knife sculpture carving kit. Carving knife, not kit. Oh no! Ah uh, no! You messed up. I done messed up. You done messed up, A.A. Eh, Ron! And of course, the reason this caught my attention is because I like waving sharp pointy things at your grains. So for those of you who haven't subscribed yet, make sure that you do. Otherwise, I'm going to wave a sharp pointy thing at you. Unless you like it. And if you like it, that's cool with me because I like waving it. <laughs> and here it is. That could have been dangerous. That's a bunch of blaze that just fell on our feet. So the first impression with this is that it does feel light and it doesn't feel that much more different than the blades I've actually bought at the dollar store. No. Yeah. Dollar store? Dollar store. Oh wow. Dollar store sells pretty good blades. Now the question is, is it sharp? It doesn't feel that sharp. Ooh, it does not feel sharp at all. Oh really? Yeah. All right, so we have, they're all the same blades. And the question is, are these ones sharp? Not that much. So normally you can feel a little bit of scraping, but you're not feeling it. I'm feeling very minimal scrapage. All right, maybe we just have dragon fingers. So <laughs> let's try and cut this piece of paper. Oh. Yeah, that is painful. Look, at it's not cutting. Oh wow, it's jagged. It's very jagged. Oh, no. This is garbage. Whereas compared to my actual sharp one, which I don't wave because it's pretty sharp, and Oh wow, that's a clear cut. So we have a clear cut as opposed to the other one. Yeah. So for $4, we're getting 16 blades that are absolutely dull. You could sharpen it, but why pay $4 shipping to sharpen all of them? <laughs> to sharpen all of them. So for me, this would go straight in the drain. I'm not gonna throw it. Okay, I was like, I'm gonna put my hands up. No, wait, I'm gonna throw it. In the trash. So these were all the items that we saw. Have you ever bought anything free from Wish? It's hard to say, did you buy something free? Did you pay shipping for something? Did you ever get something for free with just shipping online from wish.com? <laughs> <laughs> Let me know in the comment section below if it was a good item or if it was just absolute trash. This week's shout outs go to Fabulously Brenton, JL Anderson, Bumblebee Plays, Ari Bun Bun. I love the fact that you put a little salt right on top of the shirt. That is spot on. I absolutely love seeing you grains in the merch. Make sure that if you ever did, hashtag nerdy crafter merch and I'll be able to find you. As well as Mace Hallis, Lauren Curran, Nightwell, and Demon Dog G. Remember, if you want the shout out, don't forget to hashtag notification squad in the comment section below within the first five hours of a video's release or hashtag nerdy crafter on Instagram or Twitter anytime with any of your creations. And also, if you want to follow Sika, you can follow me on Instagram at nerdy sister underscore Sika. And that's the only social media I have for the moment. For now, we're <laughs> gonna convert her. If you want to watch another review of the previous eight free items from Wish, make sure you check it up here. And if you want to watch a salty video, because this one just didn't have enough, Make sure you check it out down here. Until then, I will see you grains in the next video.